Vetco, the name to count on for better resources in chemicals, equipment, programs, process, and achieving continuously better results for over 50 years. Vetco, creating better resources for facilities maintenance professionals. Vetco Resources and Process Management Training Library, expanding competencies for cleaning professionals. With today's onset of antibacterial products and modern scientific advancements, one would assume that the fight against infection would be a diminishing battle. In actuality, it just means that new, more resistant disease-causing microorganisms are evolving. One major area for concern is healthcare facilities. Hospital-acquired infections, often referred to as nosocomial infections, rank among the 10 most frequent causes of death in the United States. Interest in disinfectant efficacy has increased in response to the growing numbers of nosocomial infections, as well as to the number of immune deficient patients who are susceptible to infections. Proper disinfection is extremely important to limit and control the growth of microorganisms and the spread of infection. Your job is critical in controlling the spread of harmful organisms and in turn creating a healthier environment which may even save someone's life. This training module, which is one in the BETCO Resource and Process Management, or RPM, library series, focuses on procedures and recommendations for proper disinfection of a patient room in a hospital or long-term care facility. This module will cover types of disinfectants, safety precautions, preparation, patient room daily clean occupied, patient room daily clean occupied isolation, patient room detail clean discharge, patient rooms project cleaning, and cleanup procedures. Betco has over 300 specialty cleaning products and a full line of equipment and accessories. We recommend the following Betco cleaning system to assist in disinfecting areas for patient rooms. Quatstat, broad spectrum disinfectant, excellent for meeting the requirements of the OSHA bloodborne pathogen standard. Deep blue or clear image glass and surface cleaner. Glybet disinfectant spray. Winning Hands premium antibacterial hand cleaner. PH7 all purpose neutral cleaner for vents, light fixtures, and porous surfaces. A disinfectant is an agent that destroys or inhibits the growth of disease-causing microorganisms. Most hospitals require disinfectants that are specifically tested and effective for killing certain harmful bacteria. It is important to understand the different types of disinfectants that are available. The most popular types of surface disinfectants are synthetic phenols, quaternary ammonium products, commonly referred to as quats, chlorine, also called bleach, iodine, and alcohol. Disinfecting reduces the risk of cross-contamination. Most germs must hitchhike to get around, and since we touch so many surfaces throughout the day, the likelihood that we will pick up germs is virtually guaranteed. Be aware that a microorganism can hitchhike in various ways skin-to-skin -skin, on materials such as laundry or sponges, droplets from coughing and sneezing, airborne dust particles, food and water, as well as insects or animals are all ways infectious microorganisms can be transmitted. Before beginning with any cleaning task, be sure that you fully understand how to use the chemicals and equipment required for the job. It is mandated by OSHA that every employee has a right to know about the possible chemical hazards within their workplace. A material safety data sheet, commonly called an MSDS, will provide information regarding the chemicals within your building. Read and understand the MSDS, as well as the product label for every product that you use. Your supervisor will show you where to find your MSDS information and will also help you to read and understand each sheet.
Be careful not to use cleaning chemicals on any surface for which they are not intended. Be especially cautious when using acid cleaners. Never mix chemicals. It could cause serious or even fatal injury. Practice universal precautions when cleaning any blood or body fluid spills or soiled materials that could contain these or other potentially infectious substances. Refer to OSHA's Bloodborne Pathogen Standards for more information. BETCO provides a Bloodborne Pathogen Training Module within the RPM Training Library series. Accidents will be limited when the proper caution signs are posted prior to cleaning, such as wet floor signs. Always wear the proper Personal Protective Equipment, or PPE, to protect yourself from exposure to cleaning chemicals. Gloves and a mask or goggles will prevent chemical splashes from coming into contact with your skin and eyes. In hospitals, direct contact is the most common mode of transmission. One of the best ways to reduce cross-contamination, besides proper disinfection, is frequent hand washing. The physical action of hand washing will greatly reduce the number of bacteria on the skin and reduce the chances of cross-contamination. The less contamination, the healthier the environment. Review your supply checklist and gather the proper cleaning equipment, such as gloves and goggles, paper supplies, properly labeled cleaners, a high dusting tool, dry mop with handle, dust pan and brush, mop and bucket with wringer, caution signs, and any other applicable supplies. Be sure that the correct dilution rates are used according to the manufacturer's recommendations. Vetco chemical management systems ensure that dilution rates are correct and makes your job faster and easier. Always prepare disinfectant solutions fresh daily in order to ensure their effectiveness. When cleaning an occupied patient room, never push your cleaning cart into the room. Take only the supplies and equipment needed for the task. Always knock and greet the patient and his or her visitors in a friendly manner and identify yourself explaining why you're there. It's important to excuse yourself if a doctor, nurse, minister, or other clinical person is in the process of any type of procedure or discussion. Explain that you will come back at a more convenient time. Remember these three simple rules for cleaning. Clean from top to bottom, bringing soil to the lowest level as you go about your routine. Perform dry procedures before wet procedures, such as waste removal and paper refilling before wiping and mopping. When wiping, clean in a consistent pattern, such as up and down, then back and forth, to ensure that you cover an entire surface. Be sure to overlap your strokes. First, empty the trash and bring the filled liner to your cart for disposal. Never compress the trash in case there are hidden sharps or contaminated materials inside. Spray the inside and outside of the receptacle with a spray disinfectant, such as Glybet, and replace with a clean liner. If housekeeping is responsible for infectious waste receptacles, be sure to empty them according to hospital procedure. Follow Bloodborne Pathogen Universal Precautions for cleanup of any spills or spatters. Report any damage or leakage to your supervisor. Check all paper dispensers. Clean and refill them as needed. Damp wipe the dispenser with a disinfectant. Betco's Broad Spectrum Disinfectant Quatstat can be utilized for all disinfecting in a patient room. Spray the outside of the toilet and sinks with a disinfectant. Move on to the next task, allowing the disinfectant to sit for 10 minutes. It's important to come back and wipe up overspray after the 10-minute contact time. Be sure not to let anyone enter the area until you have it wiped. Damp wipe the outside of all furniture, except the patient's bed. Use a disinfectant on all hard, non-porous surfaces, such as window ledges and counters. Use a neutral cleaner on porous surfaces. Do not open drawers or disturb the patient's belongings. Where it is necessary to move newspapers, magazines, flowers, or other articles in order to clean, be sure to handle them with care and return them to their original location. Never discard the patient's personal belongings. Beginning at the door and working clockwise around the room, spot clean all visible soil from walls with a disinfectant. Damp wipe doorknobs, handrails, light switches, and push plates with disinfectant. 
be sure to thoroughly damp wipe the phone, cord, and dial plate. Do not wipe directly above the patient. This includes the overbed light. Cleaning cloths should be changed frequently to avoid cross-contamination. Return to the restroom and follow Betco Resource and Process Management restroom sanitation procedures. As an additional precaution, use a spray disinfectant such as Glybet on areas that people continually touch, such as doorknobs, push plates, and handrails. Post wet floor caution sign and begin to dry and wet mop the floor from farthest corner to the door. Collect the dirt and debris in a dustpan at the door and dispose of it in your cart's trash bag. Use a disinfectant solution for wet mopping. If there is carpeting, vacuum traffic areas. Properly remove your gloves. Wash your hands thoroughly using plenty of soap, such as Betco's Winning Hands Premium Antibacterial Soap. Before leaving the room, make a final inspection to be sure that furniture and patient belongings are in their original location. Also check to be sure that you do not leave any spray bottles, bags, or equipment. Let the patient, family, or visitors know that you're finished and thank them. Remind them that the floor will be slippery until it's completely dry and ask them to be cautious. It is important to get into the routine of cleaning the room in the sequence indicated in this training. In addition to saving time, working the same way each time will reduce the chances that you might overlook a task or area. Change the disinfectant solution in the mop bucket if it is visibly soiled, or if there is a bloodborne pathogen risk, or if you used it in an isolation room. Otherwise, change the solution every third room. When cleaning an isolation patient room, always follow the protocol for your hospital. Often, signs are posted on the doors to indicate what personal protective equipment is required. Remember to practice universal precautions. This, in combination with the PPE, ensures your personal safety as well as the patient's. Clean the room as you would any other occupied room with the following exceptions. All trash should be handled as infectious waste. Immediately bag all cloths, wet mop heads, and dust mop heads used in the room as infectious waste. Do not use them in any other area. Properly remove any gloves, gowns, or masks after you have cleaned the room and dispose of them in the proper waste receptacle immediately after leaving the room. Wash your hands thoroughly. After cleaning the room, decontaminate with disinfectant any equipment that has been visibly soiled, such as mop handles, buckets, and casters. Thoroughly rinse out the mop bucket and wringer and replace with clean water and disinfectant before cleaning the next area. Once the patient has been discharged, additional cleaning procedures are required. First, check the room for personal belongings that the patient may have left in the room. If you discover any, carefully place them into a plastic bag, secure, and label. Take the bag to the nurse's station. Follow the daily occupied patient procedures, but add the following tasks to your cleaning. Beginning at the door of the room, move clockwise around the room. Dust everything above shoulder height with a high dusting tool, finishing back at the door. Using a disinfectant, spot clean all visible soil from the walls window sills, blinds, and other vertical surfaces, including door frames. Overbed lights are major dust collectors and are prime sites for the transportation of dust particles onto the patient. Before cleaning the overbed light, turn the lamp off. Damp wipe using a disinfectant and a clean cloth. Report any burned out bulbs or any other visible problems such as broken furniture or damaged fixtures to maintenance. To clean the overbed table, wipe the tray, top, inside drawer and underside with a disinfectant. Wipe down the legs, base and wheels of the table. Remove any hair from the wheels. Handle linens and bed making according to procedure. Damp wipe the entire bed with a disinfectant including the frame, headboard, and footboard. Clean all sides of the mattress according to manufacturer's recommendations and turn it. Fold it back so that you can wipe off the springs underneath. Raise the bed up and carefully wipe off all areas underneath. Be especially careful to clean the casters as well. 
thoroughly clean the patient locker with a disinfectant. Be sure to wipe all corners and edges carefully. Damp wipe the TV control unit with disinfectant. Never spray the controls directly. Spray and wipe all chairs and other furniture. Be sure to read the label before spraying certain surfaces. Follow upholstery cleaning procedures for fabric chairs. Clean mirrors and windows with glass cleaner, such as Betco's Clear Image. Clean visible soil from the entrance door, door frame, kick plate, chart holder, room sign, and the general vicinity of the entrance. Clean the restroom according to restroom sanitation procedures. Dust mop the floor followed by wet mopping with disinfectant. Pay close attention to baseboards, corners, and underneath furniture. Properly remove gloves and wash your hands. Make a final inspection of the room. Notify the appropriate person that the room is clean and ready for the next admission. Project cleaning is usually completed in conjunction with detail cleaning of the room anywhere from once a month to once a quarter, or even biannually, depending on the facility's needs. BETCO's Resource and Process Management will assist your facility to establish a schedule for project cleaning, as well as detail cleaning. In addition to the tasks listed for detail cleaning procedures, the following activities may be included as project cleaning for patient rooms. Strip and recoat hard floors. Scrub and recoat hard floors. Carpet bonnet cleaning or extracting. Grout scrubbing restroom tile. Clean all vents and grills with Betco's PH7 all purpose neutral cleaner. Wipe down ceiling and walls. Betco provides the complete bundle for any of these cleaning procedures, including a full line of equipment such as auto scrubbers carpet extractors, floor machines, vacuums, grout scrubbers, and pads. When finished with all necessary procedures and all surfaces are dry, remove any posted signs. Bag the soiled mops for daily laundering. Never leave them sitting in buckets. Remember to disinfect the used cleaning equipment as well. Disassemble and disinfect on a routine basis with Quatstat. In reviewing what has been discussed in this training, you have learned the following. Understand product labels and MSD sheets. Wear the proper personal protective equipment. Follow OSHA's Bloodborne Pathogen Standard with regard to blood and body fluid cleanup. Review supply checklist and stock your cart. Follow a routine for cleaning. Post the proper caution signs before cleaning. Remember these three rules when cleaning a patient room. Always clean top to bottom, clean from dry to wet, wipe in a pattern. Know your daily, detail, and project cleaning procedures and when to perform them. Wash your hands after cleaning a patient room. And be sure to always clean up and wash your equipment at the end of your shift or at the end of a workday. The service you provide is very important to the well-being of patients, visitors, staff, and yourself. Be proud of the skills you're developing and know that you truly make a difference in creating a clean and healthy environment.